Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I am gonna do a quick skincare routine. Um, just chit chat with you guys. I am having a glass of wine. My husband picked that up yesterday when he went to H-E-B to get a few groceries. Um, we needed some waters, um, fruit, veggies, and uh, he opted to stop by H-E-B and he's like, I got you a surprise, a bottle of wine. So. I'm just gonna have one glass tonight. I have a long day tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be a busy day. So I probably need to get back to bed pretty soon. Um, I've been in bed. I actually did work earlier. I had a chance to do a little bit of a workout, about 50 minutes or so. I did two videos off of YouTube. And um, I'm gonna just get ready for bed pretty much. So. Let me fix this before I drop this. It falls, oh well. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my face with the clean, the clean Truth Filming Cleanser by Ole Henriksen. I really, really enjoy this cleanser. It's really, really nice. Um, it's filmy. So I'm gonna use this to wash my face. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys had a good Monday. Today's Tuesday when I'm filming this. Monday was very stressful for me. I, I felt really, really um, down, I guess is the word. Um, work has been very stressful for me. There's a lot of changes happening within the company and they're not necessarily changes that are like positive I guess I mean it's hard to tell yet because I guess the changes are so dramatic and so early right now so it's been making everybody really stressed out I mean we've had a lot of people already leave so that is I guess stressing me out I've been at this job for almost three years and um I am a person of habit. I usually stick at my jobs for a long time. And um, my last job that I had, I was there for seven years. So I am a little bit scared that things aren't gonna work out at this place. I hope they do. I mean, I know growth is painful and it's never easy. So I hope that things work out, but I'm just going to take it day by day. And that's all really I can do. I'm not that type of person that um, <laughs> likes not knowing what is going to happen. Of course, that's for everybody, but I'm just really, really control freak, I guess. So I've been really nervous about all these changes, what that means for my job and my duties um, and for what. And for the, the ones that don't know, I am a hospice nurse. That's what I do. So so anyways, I love this cleanser. It's really, really good. It's probably one of the best ones I've had so far. I love skincare. Skincare is my jam. So um, I love to try uh, all types of cleansers. Um, this is my favorite so far. I've purchased this, I think, three times already. And it's my favorite. So I'm going to wash this real quick and I'll be right back. There's my wash. Um, so the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tone my face with this cucumber cleansing micellar water. This one I found it at, um, I wanna say Marshall's. And I love buying skincare stuff like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they have a great um, natural or, I guess, organic section. 
like this one is um, you no know, animal testing, which is a big thing for me. I'm trying to convert to no animal testing on all my products. I haven't completely done so yet, but I'm working on it. I am, like I said, I'm not a vegan or I don't claim to be any of that, but I'm trying to at least do no animal testing. Um, and this is a cucumber cleansing micellar water, I guess. It says it soothes and refreshes and has a rose extract, lavender oil. It's really, really nice. Um, I got it pretty cheap. Um, there, I, it was, I believe it was, um, Marshall's. I'm pretty sure it was Marshall's. There's a lot of TJ Maxx, um, products there, and I also like to look through those. So anything that seeks my attention or calls out to me, I usually will try it because I'm so into trying products. And this is like a really nice one. Um, I looked online to see if I could find it again because I haven't seen many more at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And I saw it on uh, Amazon and it was like, like 16 or 17 bucks. And this one I bought it for like eight bucks, I think, seven ninety nine. dollars That's a big bottle though. So, but then I kept, and then I just didn't get it because I still had some. So, um, I went back a few months, a few weeks later and I couldn't find it anymore. So I don't know if they discontinued it. So I need to keep looking. The brand is called Rosen Apothecary. That's what that says. Um, I don't know. It's really, really nice. I really do enjoy it. It says, gently cleanses with soothing botanicals that leave skin feeling fresh and renewed. Lavender oil, cucumber, and rose extract soften, nourish, and brighten the skin for a dewy, radiant freshness. So I like to do that after I wash my face. Sort of remove any extra dirt that I may have. Um... It does tingle a little bit, but it's nothing too bad. So, I like to air that out a little bit. I like red wine. I don't know what you guys, if you guys like wine or not. Um, I prefer it over white wine. I just feel like red wine is like or antioxidants, of course. Uh, no, I just like the taste better, but um, anyways. So I do the toner. Let's see. I have a lot of products here. Um, like I said, I'm a skincare junkie when it comes to skincare. I'm gonna probably do, I don't really have a lot of breakouts right now, but when I do have a little bit of a break, breakouts, I like to use a Body Shop Tea Tree Any Perfection Daily Solution. And um, this one, you can apply it to, to all your face, it comes in a dropper, but I find it a little bit drying and I already have dry skin. So I don't want to put it all over my face. So what I do is I put it wherever there is like a breakout coming or if I see any redness. Tea tree is really, really good for like acne breakouts or whatever. Um, so I really do like this. I do feel like it helps me clear out quicker. I don't have a lot of problems with acne in general. I did as a teenager. I guess I just outgrew a lot of them. Um, I just don't have any more. Um, I do drink a lot of water. I don't know if that helps or maybe I just have good genes. Uh, my mom didn't have a lot of acne that I remember. but So I like to spot treat more than like completely cover all my face you can do all over your face but 
Like I said, it dries me out a lot. So it is suitable for blemish skin. I don't know if you can tell there on the bottom. It's really, really nice and I really enjoy that. Um, after that, I'm going to apply uh, some vitamin C. Um, this is from Derma E um, Concentrated Serum. Um, the uh, brand Derma E is um, also cruelty free. They're pretty, pretty um, good as far as their ingredients. Um, also, I'll soon need some more. I don't have a lot left, but I usually like like one or two pumps. This seriously smells like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles, one of those. It's like a really fruity smell. It's strange. Anyways, um, um, I read that vitamin C is good for brightening. And who doesn't want their skin to look glowy and bright? Um, so I just let that absorb there. Now, um, after that, I'll usually go in with a facial oil. I At one point, I was using the Maracuja, the Tarte facial oil it's a good oil it's not a bad oil i've just had better oils um which is going to be what i'm going to tell you right now what i'm using um this was kind of expensive and like i said i don't love it so if it's expensive and i don't love it i won't repurchase like simple as that um i mean i better be loving it if it's i'm gonna pay money for it and i don't mind uh spending money on my skincare because I mean it's my skin and I want to take care of it so um my favorite one that I've tried because I really have only had three that I've tried one from Dermay which I didn't really like um this one from Tarte and then this is the one that I'm really really like bomb diggity it's by um Franklin and Whitman it's called face serum walnut hill and it has argan oil rosehip seed oil and pomegranate seed oil so this is a company and it has that little bunny there which is cruelty free this company is from pittsburgh and they're also all natural um what i like about them is that they donate like i think it's i want to say it's 10 percent or like a certain percentage to um a animal shelter in pittsburgh which is nice. Now this, I feel like it's made a huge difference in my skin, my texture. I have a lot of texture here on my forehead. Um, I was really scared to do facial oil because I thought that my face would get like really greasy, but I find that since my face is my face is dry, and even if it was my my face is dry like most all of it, I'm a little bit oily in my T zone, which is like normal. But I do have a, a dry complexion. But I read somewhere that even if you have like an oily complexion, you should still use a facial oil. So I think when you wash your face, you also strip it of a lot of good nutrients so it's important to rehydrate back your skin so i've no to me this facial oil has been a huge game changer for me i really have noticed a difference i even like to bring it down to my neck a little bit so i've tried a few things from this franklin whitman company I tried their facial spray, which I'll show you in a little bit. I have a um, steam. It's a botanical steam, which is pretty much like it's really. It's called Washington Square. This is just one type. It's pretty much like dry 
rose petals and like uh, this is rose petals, lavender buds, and cat and calendula flowers. So you basically make a steam bath, you boil some water, and you put this in a bowl. Then you got the hot water and you like hover over it, cover your face, and it like opens up your pores. It's a nice treat. I love it. it smells delicious. If you like rose, oh, isn't it so beautiful? You'll love this. There's like different um, smells. Um, I do that every once in a while. I don't do that all the time. That's also from Franklin and Whitman. And I also have a cleansing serum, which is oil based and it's to remove your makeup. And I haven't used a lot of it. Um, I like it, but it's, I don't think that it tops this one. Um, so I haven't really gone into it yet. I've used it a few times and it's okay, but I still love this, this Ole Hen um, Henriksen one. It's like my favorite, like the best. It just feels really, really good. Um, and I feel like it removes all, all the, the dirt and all that. So Anyway, so I've used the facial oil already. And then after that, I like to apply my facial cream. So what I usually use, I'm so lazy when it comes to like eye, eye creams. Um, I should probably spend some time on the eyes because that's where they say you show your your age. But um, I'm just lazy when it comes to my eyes. Um, I usually use this one, which is a Derma E Even Tone Brightening Night Cream. And it looks like this. And it's not very hydrating, but I do like the way my skin has looked. So I do use it. Usually during the day, I use something more hydrating. Um, I've been using this Kopari one. Um, it's a coconut face cream. Um, I this is wasn't my favorite either. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to Derma E has one that's a vitamin E one which was a really, really nice cream. And I really enjoyed it. Like I said, Kopari, this one was probably like 23 or 24 bucks maybe. And like I said, if I don't love it, I'm not gonna repurchase. And it was okay, there was nothing wrong with it. I just didn't find it like amazing. It was fine. Like it, it was, it's, it's, it's hydrating, but not like that Derma E one. Um, it's, like a, it's like a vitamin E based one. And it's like really, really nice. So I like to use really hydrating ones during the day before I do my makeup. Maybe I should do it at night. That's when you're supposed to hydrate more, but I always figure since I do the facial oil at night, it should be fine. So for now, I'm gonna be doing the, like I said, this Derma E um, Even Tone Brightening Night Cream. So works good. I like the way my texture of my skin has become. I also recently purchased at Sephora. It was like a Tatcha, like a trial pack. And it came with this one, the water cream. And it came with the primer. And it came with, um, what else did it come with? I think that was it. Yeah, it was a primer and the Tatcha cream. And the Tatcha cream, like there's a huge rave on Tatcha. And like I said, the primer is it's pretty good. I don't know if I love it like over any other primers that I've used. And so I'm still trying it out. I have to finish the product before I can make my final decisions. Um, but the water cream is, is good. It's good also, like I said. I don't know if it beats that Derma E one. Um, I hear this one's really expensive by itself. This is a small size because it came with, like I said, it was like a small size and then with the, with the skin canvas. Because there's a huge rave on this. So I was like, I have to try it out. So I don't want to like buy a big one and then like, except primer is like $50 by itself. So 
I bought the cream and the little primer and it was like a little pack, like a value size pack. So um, I bought that and tried it out. Like I said, the Tatcha water cream is, is good. I mean, I like it. I don't know if it tops that vitamin E cream from um, Derma E, but I'm still trying it out. So we'll see. The primer, like I said, is I'm still working at it. Um, haven't made my final thoughts on that. After that, I like to um, add a facial spray. The one that I'm going to be using today is a facial toner by the Franklin & Whitman Company. And this one has cucumber, hibiscus, and sweet orange. I'm almost done with it. It just feels so refreshing. Um, I like that toner. It's a nice one. It's so expensive though. It's like I think it's twenty five dollars for that little bottle. Um, but I just recently repurchased the Mario Badescu one, which is a really really nice one too. Um, this one's like so much cheaper. I think this big one was like fourteen bucks, and they have a small one for like seven. And I really do enjoy this one. I think probably maybe like a little bit better than that one. And like I said, I must love it in order to repurchase. Um, so anyways, that's my facial my facial routine, my cleaning. Um, I try to do this every night. Like, but let's be realistic. Sometimes I just get really lazy. But this is what I do usually. Um, and I also take a vitamin E supplement, an oral supplement. Um, I hear it's good for your immunity and it's good for your skin. So I do take that and I drink a lot of water so I hear that's good for your skin. I do feel like my skin's in good shape. I do feel like um, you know, I'm 31 years old and I do like my texture is getting better. Um, and I think I'm doing a good job with whatever I'm using. So anyways, I'll make this video short. Um, thank you for watching me. Hope you enjoy it and have a good night. Bye.